Oh boy, this brings back memories. Yeah, you got your ass beat big time on this one. How many retries did it take you to beat this chapter last time? Too many, man. Way too many. Still, I'm confident on my team now that we don't have the ax dead weights around anymore. I think it'll go smoother now. Hopefully. By the way, where's that Shapiro guy? I don't know. I sent him a DM on Discord, but he hasn't seen yet. He might be speed running some other game. He loves that. That's good. He was low key annoying. Not gonna lie. He talked so much last time that he put me to sleep twice. As if putting you to sleep was hard. You're called Sleepy Joe for a reason. Nah, man, for real. I wholeheartedly recommend people who have trouble sleeping to put his videos to play on the background. The incessant talking will doze you off, guaranteed. Well, I don't know about that one, man. His voice doesn't really have a calming tone. Anyways, homie, what's your plan for this one? Gonna stand back and defend as you did before? Nah, I'm gonna try a limit testing run first. I'll advance my units right as the game starts. I don't think it's gonna work if I'm completely honest, but I wanna see how far this team will go using a suboptimal strategy. Yeah, that definitely ain't gonna work. Why don't you just use the truly tried and approved defensive strategy for this one? You don't have a time constraint anyways because there are no villages for enemies to raid. Nah, it's just out of curiosity. I agree with you, I don't think this is gonna work either. Funny words when coming from someone who doesn't like wasting time retrying chapters. Funny words when coming from someone who all he does is sleep. Go back to your natural habitat, Joe, your bed. Call your friend in and I might just do that. Obama, call Ben for me, please. Donald, stop being so toxic. Joe's been with us for all this time. Let him stay. It's fine, bro. I know he loves me deep down. Deep down your ass, man. Ooh, now it's even better, just the way I like it. What? What? Bro, what the f***? All right, time to see how far these guys will go. Ow, fuck! Don't double. Marp, you motherfucker. You always double when you must not double, right? Piece of shit character. It's the same issue as always. Nothing ever changes. Great, now we had a good level. It's always like this when losing is imminent. Fantastic. Now I've lost both his and Jum's good levels. Homie, nobody advised you to use this wacky strategy of yours. Losing those levels was pretty much your fault alone. I know, man. But if only my RNG... Bro, don't you even think about blaming RNG on this one? You put your main character, who has trash resistance and wields a sword of all weapons, to block incoming mages. Don't you dare have the gall of blaming this on RNG. All right, bro, fair enough. I still think that I can make this work, though. Nice, very good. Linda, are you fucking dumb? At least that guy dealt no damage. Oh my fucking god, she's trolling. There's no fucking way. Not gonna lie, Linda's RNG is truly quite cursed right now. Disgusting bi- She's gonna eat his attack like a moron, watch. I knew it, fucking knew it. And this little bitch even dares to lecture me about not putting her within physical enemy's range. Stupid mother- Homie, you gotta admit though, your strategy was ass. Yes, I know that very well. It was just for limit testing. However, I must have forgotten that I'm dealing with absolutely incompetent degenerates who are incapable of delivering anything more than the bare minimum. I simply cannot trust anyone in this goddamn team. They all suck. Donnie boy trying to blame his skill issues on his poor units. What a nice commander you are. There's no skill issue, but rather a brain issue on these morons. Indeed, there truly is a brain issue here. So what you gonna do now? Gonna go for the basic defensive strat here. I simply cannot take any risks with these imbeciles. Good job, Linda. Leave him with one HP. We got MVP material right here, lads. Come on, man. She just got in the team. She's still at level five. Nah, bro. She's truly pissing me off this time. You incompetent wretch. Well, at least she didn't leave him at one HP. Yeah. So now she has to strike twice and eat up even more damage. Fantastic character. Dolph's soul must have incarnated in her and now she's useless like he was. Dolph lives in your head rent-free, doesn't he? Never in my life have I had such a useless character like him in any game. It's hard to forget such an iconic figure. Damn, homie, I might just end up calling Ben again. You were calmer when he was around. Oh, please don't. Donnie boy, do calm down, will you? 
It truly is hard to calm down when you have a Dolph Shaman on the team. I'll tell you that much. Come on, man. Be useful for once. Just kill him. Fuck this shit. All right, homie, I got to tell you a couple of things. First, you have a barrier staff. Use it. Second, this ROM hack has only seven chapters. And you're on the fifth. Can you please just promote your units already and get this over with? All right, I may end up using that damned barrier staff after all because Linda simply refuses to perform today. But I will not promote my units early. If the game's this hellish now, imagine how it'll be later on. I need to garner all advantages I can get in order to be armed and ready for the later chapters. Dude, please, the growth rates don't justify all this struggling. Just All right, I'll make a compromise here. If this goddamned attempt fails again for whatever reason, and it can't be salvaged via save states, then I'll promote literally everyone in this stupid team. However, I'll hold you accountable if this turns out to be costly in the late game. Deal? I'm telling you, man, just promote- It's for the content, Obama. Let's just watch. All right, homie, you do you. I'll just say I told you when things go to shit. Let me just try this one last time. I will promote my units if this fails again. Of that, you can be sure. There you go, bitch. Now do something useful for once. All right, Linda decided to perform this time. Still, the barrier did a lot of work there. Told you. I know you don't like spending resources like that, but it does help a lot in this chapter. Yeah, but a major problem still persists. The damned mercenary that killed her last time is there, and I can't really pull her back from this fort. All in all, the entire chapter still hangs in the balance because of that stupid guy. I mean, you technically could, but it'd make you lose the fort's bonus, yeah. Not only that, but the fort is on a choke point. If I let them pass, then I'll get screwed, especially since the wyvern reinforcements are coming my way. Still, I'll make a safe state here, and hopefully Linda will be interested in redeeming herself now. Come on, man. Ah, thank God. Well done. Now you just gotta survive the wyvern invasion, the brigand reinforcements, the second wyvern invasion. Yeah, yeah, I know all that. But now the team is organized, defending against those will be easier. What'll it be for Medorva? I'll be keeping her naturally. Wyvern riders are busted. What about Brigham? That one I haven't decided yet. His stats are trash, but being able to climb peaks gives him a massive advantage. I guess I'll decide once he shows up. Yep, there he is. I guess I'll be keeping him after all. The pros may outweigh the cons. Homie truly considered benching two Cavaliers, but is keeping one of the ROM hack's worst units. You're a funny one, aren't you, Donny boy? Shut up, man. I've never really tried Brigham, so I don't know how he is in practice. Let me test him and see how he goes. Fucking piece of shit weapon. I hate this trash meme garbage axe. You can't really complain about it, Donny boy. It has saved you twice already. Stupigum disagrees with you. I'm going to try giving him a true weapon now. Hopefully it'll work out. Oh my god. You disgusting sack of shit. 1% diff, by the way. All right, bro, that's it. That's fucking it. I'm done with these useless sacks of shit. All axe wielders are this bullshit, man. All of them. Not even Jum is being decent this time. Not to mention that his stupid wife, Angelina, only got luck level so far. Never again will I use axe wielders in this ROM hack anymore. Never. Damn, bro. Poor Angie did nothing to deserve all this flack. Oh, yes, she fucking did. Her stat growth is ridiculous, man. Not even pre-promotes have had such an atrocious growth. She and her dog shit, axe garbage, stupid jump both deserve to be in the bench, alongside Brigham for being straight up useless, and Rolf for picking the wrong weapon to wield. They just won't be next to Dolph because there's a special place in hell reserved for that one. Damn, homie, chill. How am I fucking supposed to chill when I'm surrounded by such incompetence, not to mention that stupid level Jum just got? I'm sick of this, man! I just want to get the fuck out of this chapter and throw a bomb on the heads of each and every one of these axe fucks. That's literally all I want right now. Damn, he truly is fuming now. And who wouldn't be? Only Confucian monks would have the mental resilience to deal with these brainless morons. There comes the bad old desert berserker duo. Love seeing them. You know that one brigand on each group has stuff that can be stolen, right? 
Yeah, and that each has one guy with sword reaver and a motherfucker wielding a killer axe. All the good stuff. Got a plan to deal with them? I'll try to kill the ones coming from the north straight away while luring the others coming from the west. Then I'll kill those too. Quite the elaborate plan, Donny boy. There isn't much else to do, dipshit. They're coming towards us carrying stuff that I want to steal. I'll just wait, steal and kill them. Or what? Did you expect me to build a town center, create villagers and wall myself in like Age of Empires? Still not an elaborate strategy, but I got you, homie. Let's see if Linda's still performing. Another 82%, come on. Yep, once again, gotta use someone to clean Bullshinda's mess up. Amazing performance. Hell hey, yeah, I've never seen her have such a bad performance ever. Not gonna lie. Whatever, man, I'll just use Marp there and he'll get level 20. It's still a win regardless. Even Marp is outperforming you, Bullshinda. You should be ashamed. Come on, man, don't be ridiculous. Linda carried you when she had the barrier while at the fort and your Marp is cracked while being 10 levels ahead. Unfair comparison. Don't you think? Unfair is having this bitch miss 80 percenters left, right and center. That's unfair. Honestly, she must have missed half of her 80 percent attacks. Nah, she definitely didn't miss half her 80 percent attacks. She may have missed 30 or even 40 percent, but not half. And who are you to know that, Sleepy Joe? You could have very well dozed off like you always do and missed most of her flops. Kind of hard to sleep with you screaming, don't you think? Not even the apocalypse would stop you from dozing off, Brandon. Anyways, your Marp is kind of screwed now, right? What do you mean? I'll just promote him on the next turn. It'll be fine. All right, homie, we'll see about that. Time for Marp's promotion. The fuck do you mean, man? Why can't I promote him? Tell me a GBA fire emblem that you can promote the main character using a seal. I'll wait. Nah, man, that's lame. Now I'm gonna have to walk around with a level 20 main character. Great. Told you, homie. Uh, whatever, I'll manage. Come on, Nino. Do not say anything, Brandon. Shut your fucking mouth. The fuck? I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh, yes, you were. I know you. Oh, look how good the devil axe is to you, Donny boy. You should like him. Go fuck yourself. Nah, bro, chill. Oh, look how good Devil Axe... Go fuck... Time to deal with these motherfuckers. Go label. Good. Well, the chapter's pretty much wrapped up, right? Yeah, pretty much. Now that these two losers have been dealt with, I'll grind Linda against the boss's decoys, get the hidden stuff in the map, and wrap it up. You ended up winning in the end, huh? Yeah, but to be honest, I thought this was going to be a bit easier. Sure, the chapter was quite harder than this when I didn't have anyone benched the last time I played this. Still, I was hoping that the game would be easier than it is being right now after benching the useless units. Perhaps I should have benched more people like Jum and his wife. Bench Jum? Nah, you're tripping. Yeah, homie, plus you're going to see the difference once you promote your guys. Yeah, maybe. I'm just going to cap Shido's level here real quick. Please, just get me out of this stupid chapter. Yeah, that was a tough one, I'll give you that. The dude had 60% hit chance and what, 18 crit? Yeah, man, I had 34% chance to crit and he had like 10% in total, but alas, guess who critted? Yeah, this chapter's being special for you. To be honest, bro, I would have quit this playthrough already if there weren't safe states. Gotta thank God that they exist, no cap. Nah, bro, your RNG is- Nah, Joe, not now, I'm legit tired. Sure, homie, I got you. Time to end this little chapter. Imagine not fast-forwarding this slow-ass fight. Are you ready for the next chapter, though? Ah, man, I don't know. All I know is that it's gonna be a banger. Of that, I can be sure.